OK, so here we have the third question on this particular paper. We've got to start by simplifying a fraction with the third land numbers on the top and the bottom. And the trick for that, which you'll find in Chapter 1, is to multiply on top and bottom by the same expression on the top and the bottom. And what you multiply by is not the same as, but it's based on the denominator of the original fraction. But look that up in Chapter 1 if you've forgotten the method. Um, B dotty 1, this is the first method in Chapter 1, simplifying a third. We, we're told that it comes out as root 5, so that's an indication that when we set it up, we're going to have 45 is something times 5 there. You can write it as two square roots. You can simplify one of them, and you'll end up with a number times root 5, which is what you want. And then to solve this equation, um, parts of questions normally link together. A is separate here, B is a re-entry point, but B2, although it doesn't say hence, we can see a root 45. So that's a bit of a hint that we should use the expression you got in B dotty 1 for the root 45, because that's got root 5s in it. And once you've seen that, you, pre you, you can simplify 7 root 5 minus your answer um, to uh, B dotty 2, but that will come out in terms of root 5s. You'll need to think about this root 20. Now, if you express a root 20 as a simplified third, then once again, it's got root 5 in it. So if you simplify the root 20 as well as the root 45, um, that should, you should be well on your way to finding the correct value for x.